Ladies and gentlemen, we are set for the next fight of the night. Scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. Presented to you by Skillhouse the Movie. Starring 50 Cent and Bryce Hall. How far would you go for clout? Introduce it to you first. Fighting out of the red corner, tonight he wears black and gold. He stands at even six feet tall. His official weight, an even 181 pounds. He holds an MMA record of 11 victories opposite four defeats. And tonight makes his bare knuckle debut. Fighting out of London, England. Here is Terry the Dominator. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears white and silver. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, his official weight at even 182 pounds. Tonight, he also makes his bare knuckle debut. Fighting out of Carlisle, England, here is Danny the Bastard, Christy. And our referee in charge of the action, Mike Belgrave. The self-described brawler and Terry Brazier versus the self-described boxer, puncher, and Danny Christie. Both fighters up to scratch. Look it up. The bell round number one. Quick jab off of the scratch line for Danny Christie. He's in the white trunks, black trunks for Terry Brazier. Brazier now big to the body. Left hand, another left hand from Brazier. Brazier coming forward again off the right hand. So the fend from Brazier, the head movement. There's the jab right back from Danny Christie. Christie on the right hand. To the clinch, double underhooks and the turn from Terry Brazier. Saw a bit of that <laughs> pro fight MMA experience from Brazier. The double unders in the turn. Brazier using a lot of energy to do that, though. That works out great if you let Nick knock him out in the first round, but if it goes on, sometimes you get tired. Half time club now snatched by Brazier. Duck under from Christie in the turn. Mike Belgrave, that's a soft warning to Terry Brazier. Wow. So much from soft warning, <laughs> skipping the soft and the hard warning right to one point deduction. Wow. Wow. Belgrave saying a backhand back of the fist, taking a point away from Terry Brazier. That's pretty quick for that call. I mean, they're in there, they're in the mix. Usually you get a warning in that one, Sean. As the great boxing referee Jack Reese describes silent warning, which is a glare, soft warning, hard warning point. Bill Gray going immediately to a one point deduction. The lead goes back with the fist shot. Sean, we haven't had many fights going the distance. Probably won't make a difference, but we'll see. It's a stiff jab from Christie. It's a great job right now by Brazier, just turning his opponent, right. pushing him against the fence. He's got to make this a dirty, ugly fight right now. Brazier on the underhook on the turn, jab right back from Christie on the reset for Mike Belgrave. 15 seconds remaining round number one. Brazier staying here doesn't want to be on the outside right now. He needs to work his way inside, in the mid range, in the pocket. Oh, right hand to the body just before the bell, the left hand leg. That ends round number one. So if you give that round to Danny Christie, it's 10-8. If you give it to Brazier, it's 9-9. Okay, and they're gonna show you right now the backhand. Yeah, it was a little backhand, but not that big of a deal, I didn't think. And here's that left hand. I thought there was a left hand. Maybe that wasn't the left hand, so. Still some good work right there being done by both guys. Christy did a good job of landing some punches. Oh, that Paul, that Looked like he was a little oh, rock, oh, grabbed his opponent, turned him over, got where he needed to be. He needs to do more of that, get in that mid-range. Stay in the pocket, don't stand on the outside where your opponent has the advantage. Seconds out called. Round number two coming up. Third line. Knock it 
To the second round we go. Danny Christie started round one with a jab. He starts off from scratch round two with a jab. Another hard jab from Christie. Sent down on that naked right hand. Lands for Brazier. His ear cut. Reach of his nose. Big shots on the entry. There's the double unders, the single under, and the turn. Now half time comes snapped by Terry Brazier. Right up. And that's what Brazier needs to be, right on the inside. Put his chest on his opponents. He's hit his chest and the spell punches. Brazier off the jab. Christie off the one two entry. Counter right hand from Terry Brazier. Time called by Mike Belgrave. Oh, nasty cut, looks like. That is a huge cut on the face of Danny Christie. See the cuts in the forehead? Thumbs up from the chief medical officer. Bare fighting championship, Dr. Don Muzi. Let's see what that does to Christie. Sometimes it gets a sense of urgency. I gotta end this fight now, I'm bleeding bad. Sometimes you go, okay, I'm fine, relax, take your time. Chancery position held by Christie. Another backhand right there. No great talking to both fighters, no point deduction. <laughs> right, right hand, hand big left hand lands for Brazier. A lot more punches being landed by Brazier. Another one point deduction for an illegal back fist thrown by Terry Brazier. So he's thrown three, and he's been deducted two points. One around one here in, one here in round two, a point deduction. Belgrade just told Brazier to throw it again, and disqualify you, ending the fight. I thought they usually gave a two point, and then disqualification. <laughs> Brazier doesn't need to worry about these back fists right now. He needs to get inside and do that just like he is right now. This is where he wants to stay. Right hand to the body. Half time plus snatched by Brazier. Triple jab for Brazier. Time called by Mike Belgrave. Both these guys are a bloody mess right now, son. Again, Dr. Don Muzi. See, that's a lid cut. Okay, okay. Yeah, you, that's what they got to be careful on the lid. They don't like that to, to be in that spot right there. Cut in Brazier's left eyelid. Final seconds, round number two. That is the end of the second round. And right here, we're going to see where that cut on Chrissy's face came from, I believe. Yep, it was just a jab, Sean. We've seen that many times. People think that jabs can't do much. They do a lot in this round. Yeah, usually solid jab. I'm telling you, it hurt. It just hurt two or three times. There's that back fist once again. I think he threw it a couple times in that round. Yeah. That was, a, that, that, I think that was the first time he did it because the referee didn't step in and take a point. He threw two back fists in that one. Sean, once again, we talk about guys with MMA backgrounds. Sometimes people hit the ground and they throw a punch. Sometimes they're used to being able to throw a back fist. You can get by with that once. It's usually a second, third time that they're going to really hammer you right now, and that's what happened there. If you've seen both rounds for Terry Brazier, Right now, you have this 18-18. You would have two 9-9 nine, nine rounds. If you see both rounds for Danny Christie, you would have it 2016. Point deduction in rounds one and two. Big left hand on the entry for Danny Christie. Separation for Mike Bograve. Two cuts down the face of Danny Christie. He's just been cut outside of his right brow. Forehead cut open in round number two. Brazier with that lid cut, looked at by Dr. Don Muzi, closing seconds of the second round. But 25 remaining here in round three. Three off the jab for Christie. Brazier on the underhook. This is when Brazier, I believe, Chris has been doing his best work in this fight. And he's gone hard with that left hand on the turn and down. Ruled the knockdown correctly by Mike Belgrave. Caught in the ropes. Brazier still hurt. He's hurt bad right now. Christie needs to jump all over him right now. He has the ability to. Brazier just took his mouthpiece out. 
Azir says he wants to continue. Belgrave will let him. There's the jab from Christie. And that game could out. be near. Big shot says the left hand, the right hand. Mike Belgrave taking a really close look. Got to put his hands up. They, he might want to jump in there right now because this isn't going to get any better. Huge shots. That is the end. Victory for Dan Christie. I mean, Brazier was hurt the entire time. Christie did the exact right thing. He jumped all over a wounded opponent. Chris, the irony of this fight is Brazier was absolutely doing his best work in the clinch, and yet on the exit of the final clinch of the fight is when he was caught and dropped by Danny Christie. Just landed the profile. I think it was a left hook. I'm going to have to watch it again right here. Here's that in the mix right there. Oh, look at that left hand. Perfectly thrown. That did all the damage. Here's the end of the fight, it looks like, just continuing the onslaught, because you could tell Terry Brazier was hurt. Just too tough for his own good, didn't want to go down. The referee seen enough, he knew he was hurt. Terry Brazier is a really talented fighter. Again, 11 and four in his pro MMA career, a paratrooper in the British Army. He tried to implement the brawl. He's favored what he told us, non-technical fighting <laughs> style. He sells himself short because he definitely has technique behind all of oh, that yeah. aggression. I, I mean, and look at Danny Christie's face. Danny Christie's face is a mess as well. Look at Brazier landed 84 punches, 58%, threw a lot of punches right there. So he did a great job. Look at that. He landed a lot more head strikes, 73 at a 54%. Did fantastic right there. He just got caught with a good punch right there. He kept throwing those back fists. Clint strikes right there, had the huge advantage, almost two to one for Brazier. And look at that landing percentage, 85, phenomenal. At 37 years old in his pro combat sports debut, Danny Christie showing his toughness, showing his skills, showing his class. Here's Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge, Mike Belgrave, steps in and calls a stop to this fight at 1 minute 22 seconds into round number three for your winner by TKO, Danny the Bastard, Christie. Sean, I love that fight for Danny Christie. He went through some adversity, got cut open, had to deal with some problems, but still came out the other end and got stronger as the fight went on. Danny Christie said, I will continue to adapt in this fight.